Hi guys, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. Today is Sunday, the 30th of August. The last, the day before the last day? I don't remember. Was it 30 or 31 days this month? I don't know. I was rolling a bobbin and I was like, oh man, that took longer than I thought. If you are new to my channel, head down that way. Subscribe, like my videos, share my videos, whatever with my videos. Um, as long as it gets the word out there that I make videos for people who want to learn to quilt. Uh, I am not in a good mood today. I'm in a bad mood. But I am going to work through my bad mood with some fabric, which makes me feel good. <laughs> um, we're just going to sew my random project, because that's what I'm doing here. And I ran out of thread in it. Didn't get very far. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to sew my random project here. I'll show you what I'm doing as soon as I get the rest of this sewn and re-thread my machine. While we chit-chat, uh, I have all these, like, some projects started and some not started and blah, blah, blah around my room, which I'm pretty sure a lot of us have. And so I need to do something with them. And, well, Triana claimed the, the one I'm working on now. She said she wants it for her little sleepover bed. So her little sleepover slash nap bed is uh, going to get a little quilt for here. So she has a quilt I made at home. She can have one here. Although they have as many quilts as they want because there are so many in my house. <laughs> All right, let's see who is here. Hi, Kim. Hi, Suzanne, Remo, Gwen, Ampy Yogi, uh, Linda, Suzanne. Did I already say Suzanne? I did say Suzanne. Um, where am I? Hi, Anne. Hi, Jim. Hi, Brenda. Um, where am I? Oh, hi, Bettina, Linda, June. And this is Yogi from San Antonio, Texas. Some fun. Hi, Linda. So, I'm going to sew a little bit and then I'm going to go press. Oh, I would press, turn my iron back on. Um, so today is nothing special. I was going to free motion quilt, but if you guys saw in my picture that I posted in Becca's, uh, Becca babe, Becca's babes group, for those that are in, um, follow. So Becca as well and are in her group. Oh, and I was on live with her the other night. Well, I can't do any sewing projects because my room kind of blew up. Uh, I had Cyrus bring in a tub of fabric. I've shown you guys the tubs of fabric that I have in the garage. And I had Cyrus bring in a tub of fabric from the garage. And that tub blew up in here. And then when I was putting things away, not only from that tub, but from all the stuff that I had just got from um, my, my score from the marketplace, Facebook marketplace, so I pulled everything out of the closet. Not only that I need to put things away, but I also needed to get some batting out of there too, some scrap batting. I pull everything out of the closet and it's all soaked. How it got soaked, we have no idea. Uh, it wasn't moldy, so it was just like freshly soaked. Kinda looks like someone took one of my irons and went bop, 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 and dumped it all over the place in the closet. So yeah, I had to clean that up, let everything dry out, iron all the fabric that got wet. It's a good thing not much fabric got wet, but all the bags of batting and stuffing that I have, they all got wet. They're closed, but it's okay. They still, they had water all over them, just like someone dumped water. So it wasn't, there's no leaks in the closet or anything. It was just the weirdest thing, but it has to have been iron water because that's the only other conclusion we came to with the two irons that sit over there, so... I guess I just can't sit my irons aside anymore without draining all the water out of them. So I guess that's, that's something I got to remember to do when I'm done with it. Dump it. <laughs> or else it makes a mess. So I had to clean all that up and I don't feel like doing anything else. My ironing board is still covered with tons of stuff. Mostly cleaned up. Um, the table over there with the other quilt project is mostly cleaned up. But I am, like I said, I'm in a bad mood. I don't really feel like free motion quilting because bad moods and free motion quilting equals disaster quilting. So don't ever, if you're not feeling the greatest or you're just mood wise, not feeling the greatest, 
don't free motion quilt when you don't feel good. It just makes no sense to because everything becomes a disaster. And since what I'm working on doesn't require much but a quarter inch seam, I don't have to worry if I feel good or not. I can still put the project together. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to sew this the rest of the way. I had to turn the machine down because it was shaking too bad. I realized before I turned the camera on um, that it was shaking so bad it was making the camera shake and I didn't want you guys all shook up. So, which probably wouldn't have been bad. It would have just unfocused and focused a bazillion times. So, all right, let's see. Um, I said hi to Linda, Jim already. Judy, hi. Uh, everyone else is saying hi. Bernie's saying hi. That would mess a day. But day, yeah. Today, I'm just, I'm just not, I don't know why I don't feel, I'm just annoyed, aggravated, irritated. I tried sleeping last night, then up early, after going to sleep early, like as in five in the morning, up by seven. And I had a tickle in my throat, and it was just annoying, annoying, so I kept trying to cough it, and it just wasn't going away, so. Get out. Get out. Go, go, go. You too, Ma. I don't want to smell your perfume. Please. That is the bad day, too. Mom is here with her perfume. John, if you're watching, tell Mom not to drown herself with a bottle of perfume. It irritates my throat. I'm trying not to cough coughing hurts. I just told her. Again. Anyway. Close it! Out! No! Get out! That's the kind of mood I'm in today. I don't want anybody around. Except for you guys. Alright, let's see. Hi, Lisa. Um, yeah, we need to take a video break. Take one now. <laughs> Hi, Sue. So I'm going to press these, actually before I press, well no I will press, I'll just press, I'm going to press these real quick so you guys can see my project that I'm currently working on. Can you see that? And my disaster over here. So this is my current project. <coughs> and my disaster over here. <coughs> Man, this tickle does not go away. It's the most annoyingest thing in the whole wide world and everything aggravates it. Even steam, but I need these pieces to lay flat. So, I will just do a couple things here. I do wanna show you some mail that I got. And then, that's it. Today. So I'm making a couple of these because I have these strips of um, these right here. They're just a bunch of strips hooked together. So this is what I'm working on. This is how wide it will be. Of course I have to trim it, but so far this is it so every other one it's going to start with one of these and then have this 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 and i don't know i might have might not have enough because i didn't have enough of this pink but we will see um it's just for triana's little bed in here so which is perfectly fine Ugh. but this is what i'm doing just because I want to get some of this stuff cleaned up in here. And there's so much mess. And I don't like mess. Well, not normally. Normally I'm pretty OCD about my room. So this is what I'm doing, what I am working on. And I'll come over to the comments in a second. one more. I was trying to make a couple of these in advance so that I can count how many I'm going to be able to have because I didn't have enough fabric for any of this. Kind of just building as I go. I'm out of the black. 
song. I mean, I have a bunch of blacks that aren't fully black, but they're like, like a faded black. And I could use those, but not yet. We'll see how far I can get with what I have. what I'm doing. I'm going to trim this off real quick. I've been trimming just this end off so that I have one straight end to work with and then I sew it onto my little project. The other end I'm not doing anything with just yet. And I just bring this little thing over here and put one on. And I'm alternating directions so this one will come on this way, the other be sewn the opposite way that way there's no bowing because this is only the length of strips it's the the size of just strips so that way nothing gets bowed and then I got some mail so I will share what mail I got um, <clears throat> I'm scrolling up to see I'm missing things okay and said the video break all right, where was I? See, I'm loving your haircut. Thank you. It's kind of annoying. There's one thing that's irritating me about my hair, and it's my bangs. This area sitting on my forehead, and then this area, the little hairs coming on my forehead. Because that medicine I'm on makes my forehead itch, and the back of my head, and behind my ears, and like all the jaw. It just makes my face itch. This is kind of aggravating it, but I'll live for now. Until I get so frustrated, I shave my hair. <laughs> because that's what's probably going to happen sooner or later but it's good for now hi glennis hi linda i love the pink a lot you know and the weird thing is i've done a lot of pink quilts a lot of pink quilts it's beautiful okay rotten weather though burr oh i wouldn't want rotten weather as well as not feeling good <gasps> hi eric how are you um everyone's saying hi eric my, 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 we're just a bunch of quilting groupies, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same people on every single channel. Well, let me tell you, it's crazy. Is it pink and brown? I can't tell on my phone. No, it's pink and black. This is pink with um, a light pink polka dot and then black on the outer sides. I figured the black would look good because in some of these print, there's a uh, like dark dark gray and I was going to use a dark gray but then it would clash with the dark gray on this so I figured it'll just echo it and, and brighten the pink even brighter <laughs> because Triana likes pink and since this is for her her, her little bed it's okay uh Linda loves the colors 13c right now here 1 a.m oh that's cold Probably, I don't know what 13 Celsius is, but it's probably freezing. It's probably what, 30 something degrees or less. Hi, Bettina, making a log cabin quilt. Sona, hi, Sona. Mm, where are you, June? Da, 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 da. I made a granddaughter's pink and black quilt. 8 p.m., 70 degrees releases. Suzanne is in London. I have to figure out borders for my log cabin top for Gwen. It's currently 67 in Southeast Michigan. Uh, it's Sunday, having a lazy Sunday. I was too. I was watching Supernatural. And then I was like, oh, gotta get out of bed. <laughs> Not that I don't want to be here. It's that I just don't want to do much, I guess is the word for it. Hi, June. Um, Adi is arguing with me at the moment, and uh, so I'm sitting still. Oh, hey, I would, too, if Adi was arguing. My chest is arguing. It doesn't know if it wants to cough or not. It's about 55. Okay, June. Hi, Rowena. Okay, so mail. I got mail. I got an iron so that I could do my little minis and applique and everything like that. So it was an iron. And the person that it's from is here, from Brenda. 
she sent me, it says, thinking this will be a dream for you to pre-cut your mitered strips of jelly roll quilts. Also pre-cut half triangles for leaders and enders uh, from Brenda Foley. And yes, you can open the box online because everybody enjoys that. So she sent, this is what she's talking about is a little creative grids folding, folded corner clipper. I almost said that wrong. So she sent that and then the little note for the iron. I didn't even know who was from at first because it came in an Amazon package like this. I was like, there better be a note in here. Sometimes, you know, I don't know who things are from, who people send, who the thing I got is from. Wow, I can't even talk. Uh, she's hoping I can use this and do a review on it soon. So as soon as I get back to my little mini blocks when I'm in a better mood, then I will be using this to do it with the mini blocks. I'm, I'm sure that this is going to be perfect because this is exactly what I was talking about because I couldn't get the tip of the iron to open the seams on those little tiny blocks from the big iron without burning like the, the close parts of your fingers for holding everything open. So this will come in super handy. Plus it's great for applique because I've seen lots of big time quilters do it with applique. And this is just a... a an, a random off-brand one. Uh, as you can tell, I don't speak whatever the language is. So yeah, so this was my gifts from Brenda. Very awesome. Thank you again, Brenda, but I already told you thank you. So thank you again for now just keeping it in the box that way or in the bag because I remembered to show you guys what I got just by putting it in, back in the bag. So that was a wonderful gift to get this week. And as soon as I got the little iron too, I was like thinking, oh, I should uh, pull out my little box so that I could make some more mini blocks because I, I put all the rest of the pieces from making the last mini quilt into a little shoe box. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll just pull out the at and then that's when we found the water and the room was a disaster. And I was like, no. So this is one of the things I pulled out was this need to be done project. And well, it will get done and hopefully it'll be cute. And it's just as wide as the width of fabric, minus, you know, the selvages and whatever else I'm gonna be snipping off of it to make it a straight line, because it wasn't perfect. Like none of these pieces, they were all messed up, every single one of them, all these strips. So I must've been sewing when I was half asleep or I just didn't have a plan in mind and I was just sewing squares to God. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes I do things and I don't know why. And then it ends up in a pile and I end up having to do this with it. Just randomly throw it together. get trimmed down to the size that fits best for it. So I'm just going to open it, pull out my little tool from T because I broke another fingernail. This one came completely off from trying to finger press. I got to learn. I gotta learn just to grab the tool, not use my fingers anymore, because I have really, really, really thin fingernails. So I gotta learn not to press things anymore with them. <clears throat> uh, where were we? Okay, I was right about the weather. Okay. Uh, Juno saying hi to Eric. Cynthia, hi from Chicago. So that's Illinois. Figure these are Southern Indiana. Hi, Michelle. Where you been, lady? <laughs> um, everyone's still saying hi. Hey, Tiff, do a review on that iron. Was thinking of getting one. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I pull the squares out and I get a chance to actually sit here and play with my little tiny squares, I'm going to do it. Um, I don't have any applique projects planned, but I could probably make something dumb and just put it together so that I could have the glue from applique on something as well as using it for small pieces because that would 
be the best kind of review, honestly. Um, Eric, I have one. I for God, I have to look for it. <laughs> I have one, and I love it. Lisa, how are you wearing? Awesome, Brenda. I'm good at hiding stuff from myself. <laughs> I kind of do that too sometimes, hiding things from myself. <laughs> But not too often. Mainly around the house, not in here. Um, uh, a few hours more. That's how I end up getting multiples. <laughs> oh, that happens every time I recognize. Ouch. Yes, definitely. Every time, because I have really, I don't want to really do it too much on camera. Can you guys see that? See how it bends? I know you can see that. My nails literally just fold and break and I haven't had the time or the money to go and get the acrylic I usually get on them. And plus they keep breaking, they're not all the same length. So it'll literally just bend like that and then it'll snag fabric ever so slight and just rips right off all the way to the top. And when it first ripped, it bled, it hurt. <laughs> Does it every single time. So I gotta stop finger pressing, completely stop because and I keep not thinking, but as, as long as I keep this thing right next to me, then it should help me from finger pressing <laughs> or from, you know, keep me from doing it because it hurts when they rip. Um, I love that quote. Well, it's for a little Miss Triana for her bed in here. Um, hi, Vivian. Hi, Shari. Shari. Oh, where are we at? I'm trying to read too fast. Okay. So talking to anyone else. I'm confused. Hi, Kathy. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm gonna press this and grab another strip. I'll show you what I mean about all this being like the wrong sizes and stuff. So I'm trying to like do filler strips too. So I didn't put the camera far enough back, but I'll be able to show you just from laying it right here. So see, some of these strips, if I line this end up, I'm not going to lay it right sides together, but I'm just going to show if I line this end up right here and then take it to this side like this, you can see that, see how short it is? So I'm digging through the pile to find the longer pieces because these are not all created equally. So I just go through the whole pile and I find another one and if it's too short, I don't use it. Because I'm going to save those for like the border or something. And then this quilt will just get built as big as I have pieces. So this one's too short. Oh my god, they're all going to be too short now. I might have to cut a lot off then and just make it the size it comes out. Too short. This is short by one blockish, about. Oh, this is going to annoy me. I knew. I was going to run into this problem. All right, perfect size. I don't know what happened when I was making whatever I was making, but it did not come out however I was making what I was making. And this wasn't something I wrote directions down for. I was probably just sewing strips together and making um, squares for fun to pass the time. Because that's what I do. And that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'll probably lose a lot in the size just because of the trimming. But a five year old is really not going to care. So that's. The good part, she won't know, she won't care. She'll be like, that is so pretty, Tiffany. Make me another one. Because that's what she'll say. <laughs> one of these days I'll be able to tell her to make it herself. Tip, um, it's pronounced Sherry. Okay, Sherry. I probably won't remember that, but we'll see. Hi, Judy. I am working on a quilt. Some of the fabrics you have in yours. I am also using some black with mine. Awesome, Judy. Yeah, this was, uh, I'm pretty sure this was one of those um, 
strip sets, uh, Tuesday morning strip sets, because I have a ton of them. I don't know if I have any more of these pink ones, though. I think all I have left is, like, orange sets and, uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. I know I have orange ones, though. Now that's done. So now I need to add, uh, let's press press real quick. And once I press press, then I'll add another one of these. <clears throat> it's pressing so easy too. I have more of these pieces that were the right size. I'm going to start by chopping this off right here so that I have a nice flat edge to start with. No, the other side is not, but I'm at least getting something kind of accurate on this because nothing really is accurate on this. So now instead of sewing this way so that I don't get any bowing, I'm actually going to lay this on here nicely. this and come over to this end and start sewing from this end alternating my direction kind of helps it's not going to be perfect What is everybody up to? Anybody uh, sewing also besides who did I see that was said they were sewing? Oh, there's so many. Judy is sewing. Who else is sewing? Uh, my daughter went to Bell State, Smart Minds, Judy. Uh, I've been to Muncie. Her granddaughter went to Bell State. Oh, what in the world? So good. I don't know something from the fabric. Sure, you can go. I know you should be sewing something from the fabric you buy. So yeah. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Anyone else sewing today? It does look brown. Some of the squares, but you said gray. Yeah, it's gray. I don't know why it looks brown. Probably just the camera. It doesn't seem like it's focused right now. But then this screen doesn't look focused. That one does when I look at it. Um, my husband painted our bedroom and now I'm making a new quilt. Ooh, fun. I wish I could paint my room. <laughs> uh, still going nine patches and houses. Oh, fun. Uh, Stephanie Stitches also went to Ball State. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Michelle, I need to make some. I haven't made one. Sherry is working on itty bitty face masks for two preschool and second grade, fourth grade and sixth grade grammy. Ugh, why are ch why I don't understand why children can't keep masks on their face. That's just dumb. But then I'm kind of anti-mask, so right now I don't really go anywhere. But still, I, I don't think kids. I mean, they play. It just seems weird because they're breathing and they're. I mean, I already have issues breathing with a face mask. I could imagine what a child has. So. Uh, let's see. Making houses in nine patches. What colors did you choose? Other borders had to stop. Yes. Sewing the last border to my circle of friends quilt. Ooh. Um, doing some paper piecing early. Or was doing paper piecing today. Wow, Glennis. Sounds fun. I got all caught up in process. How interesting. Small world. Seeing videos not quilting related. Um, haven't sewn anything in about five weeks. Oh, why not, Anne? Uh, working on pineapple quilt. Ooh, fun. I know I need to finish my pineapple quilt. I keep saying that. Every time I talk to T, I say it too. I'm like, I gotta finish my pineapple quilt. And still it sits in a box over there. Unfinished. 
Yeah. I'm really lazy. It's because I'm fine with no rulers, and then, like, um, one of my local friends saw that I was making a, a pineapple quilt without the specialty ruler, so she went and got me the, her specialty ruler, and then she got a, she realized she had a second one, so she gave me a brand new one that she got second, and I gave her back the borrowed one, and I was like, oh, you didn't have to do that. She's like, this would be easier, but when you make a block from that compared to when you're doing it on your own, it actually is two different sizes, so I decided that I have to finish my project by making the pineapple blocks without the specialty ruler, and then start a new project with the specialty ruler, because it just doesn't work that way, you know, the blocks don't come out the same. So, when I finally do get a chance, that's what I will do, is um, sit down and take the time to finish that project. Oh, see that one over. Just trim it up just ever so slightly. Try and have one side at least nice and straight, but I'm not doing too good with this project. I, I feel like a beginner, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but then... Do I ever know what I'm doing? So I'm going to press this real quick since I'm already standing at the iron. I'm just going to press it towards the back, which, or towards the black color instead of towards the squares because it makes it easier. Lays flatter. And we're going to try to find another piece that is about the size I need. All right, still going through my wonderful little pile of these. It doesn't seem like... <gasps> Ooh, look at that one's a correct size. So, if I will use this one now. Uh, okay, I was at that. Working on great grandson's quilt earlier, mm. but just watching Tiff now. Tina is making a log cabin. That's what I should have just done. I should have found... Where did I put it? I put it on the shelf. I got in that pile of... Um, uh, stuff that I purchased from um, Facebook, uh, a log cabin quilt kit for a table runner. I should have made that. That would have been a perfect so Sunday because that's probably really quick to make. Uh, and I don't usually do quilt kits, but um, I could because it would be easy and fun to just do it. Uh, Brenda put borders on three quilts this weekend. Now five to quilt. Let the fun begin. Ooh, that's a lot of quilting. How are you quilting? Are you free motion quilting them sit down? Or you got a long arm, Brenda, or what? How, how is that going to work? Uh, Nina is on her fourth row. Tennessee Waltz. Hmm. That must be the name of a quilt that I'll have to look up. Tennessee Waltz. Tennessee Waltz. I'll keep it in my brain so I can look it up. Um, Linda's free motion quilting now. My stitch regular went belly up, so I'm having to do it all manual on your um on a long arm or on sit down because i didn't think sit downs had a stitch regulator although i do have a stitch regulator for this this actual machine um ampy's procrastinating today it's hard work june still can't get motiva motivated been a bad month michelle is going around saying hi to everyone still you're on it michelle aren't you um June Billings, are you having quilters block? Yeah, are you having quilters block? Hi, Robin. Um, are you using the AccuQuilt die? At least a little every day, just watching now. I was making pin cushions for exchange on Lisa Cape and Quilts. Oh, fun. Hi, Becca. I see you're here. <laughs> Today's one of those days, but you already know. Bad mood. You know why. I woke up in a bad mood. It still has yet to disappear. Um, what are we going to work on next Sunday? Uh, I think I need to finish free motion quilting. That's what I need to do. <laughs> uh, but you can't do that in a bad mood, like I said in the beginning. Don't ever come at free motion quilting when you're in a bad mood, because that just isn't good. This is okay with my bad mood because this again is just keep the quarter inch seam and I'll be good. <laughs> uh, hi, Sarah. This is the first time talking with you. I enjoy your quilt making. I've been making baby quilts myself. Ooh, well, welcome, Sarah. It's 
Glad to have you here. So Becca made it. <laughs> of course she did. Uh, now I'm crocheting for Christmas. Chris, Chris, why can't I say Christmas? <laughs> Christmas gifts. Whew. Can't get it all out today. Uh, Catherine, hi. Been cleaning and organizing my sewing room all day. I have three large containers of scraps. Didn't realize I sewed so much. You know, hi, by the way. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> I never realized I sew so much too until you see all the hanging non-quilted quilts, the quilt tops just hanging in the closet. Like, oh my goodness. I just do so much. And I don't even see myself in here, but you know, once, maybe twice a week, Sundays, and then whatever other time I come in here seems like, but no, I'm actually in here more than I guess I think I am. Or I get a lot done in the short amount of, short amount of time that I'm in here. Um, everyone's saying hi to Becca. If you guys are new to my channel and don't know who Becca is, Becca also has a channel, a YouTube channel, so you can, if she puts her link in, you guys can go over and subscribe to her channel, because she's awesome. Uh, let's see, next I'm going to sew cosmetic bags for Christmas gifts. Ooh, you must have a lot of females in the family who need cosmetic bags. Um... Still saying hi. Brenda says Juki J150, my new toy I got March 1st. J150, I don't know what that is. Is it it's a big machine then? Uh, awesome. So can be upset for your next product. So can that project for next Sunday? What? Oh, the um, the the table runner log cabin table runner kit. If that's what you're talking about, then we can. Yeah, I'm not like totally in a hurry to free motion quilt that little baby thing so it's no big big deal <laughs> uh, hi donna i don't think i said hi uh, hi sylvia um but i'm jealous i want that machine <laughs> must be now well, let's see made a jelly roll quilt but uh nobody wanted it i turned it into a skirt oh that sounds fun you know that's what i wanted to do you know the big huge dresden that i made and the back got ruined the or the you know the background white got like oil or something on it i actually thought about turning that into a skirt because that would be kind of cool but then i thought will i ever wear it but if it's a quilt somebody can use it because <laughs> i'll probably never wear it as a skirt um i messed up the borders on my quilt friday night so i put it up i'm going to shift gears and clean my room for a bit Ooh, fun not fun that you messed up the borders is it the the quilt that you just did are you talking about from two nights ago from friday night i thought i saw the picture on the sobeka group um starting to cool down so i know air conditioning I think it's hot. I was looking good. I gotta turn my fan on. That's what I'm noticing. I'm so warm with the iron on. <clears throat> my goodness. My chair is broke, so I have to have pillows under my butt the whole time because it's making my back hurt. Uh, same with me, Jim. Too hot, no sewing. Too few, just so fast and get a lot done in a short amount of time. I'm like a turtle compared to you. <laughs> <sighs> it is i just need to readjust the inner border so that i can get the square up i ran out of border fabric so i'm forced to wait oh that sucks hi teresa <laughs> you made it so if you guys don't know teresa also has a channel if you're new to my channel head over to teresa louise i quilt too and she could put her link for her channel on here. You guys can go check her out as well. You guys will see me. I'm a regular on all these channels. Oh, well, when Teresa can go live. Other than that, you'll just see comments on hers. But um, these are all the channels of people that I watch. They're all here. So if you're new to my channel, just head over and check them out. And if you like them, subscribe to them as well. Um, hi, G-Car. Angie here from Tennessee. Everyone's still saying hi, still saying hi. Yeah, um, I would wear a Dresden skirt. You would? <laughs> ah, I'd like to see that, Eric. Just make one and put it on. You see how, how big it would have to be because you're so darn tall. <laughs> uh, could you put the Dresden plate on new background fabric? No, because I already stitched the whole thing on. I'm just going to, like, improvise and do something. I don't know what yet, but... 
I'll improvise because that's what I do. Uh, I measured the center of the quilt put, and built the borders around that, so now I need to go back and fix. Aw, that sucks. Um, hello to those just joining in. Or put appliques on the spots. That's pretty much what I was going to do, wing it. Uh, I've worn it several times. I loved it. Turned out pretty. I have blue jean top over the top of it, and then the skirt at the bottom of the jeans. And I know that probably doesn't make sense. Well, it's, that all sounds awesome. Uh, thanks for the shout out. I do every time. <laughs> uh, thanks, Lisa, for the thumbs up reminder. All right, guys. Where was I? Going this way now on my junk project. And I'm also cutting these extra pieces off because, well, I don't, like I said, I don't know what I was doing here, but anything that's junk on it, I'm just chopping it off. Why? Because it's not needed. I don't know what I was thinking, or if I was even thinking. Maybe it was like today and I was in a bad mood. <laughs> I turned the machine down, but it's still like everything is rattling around. I don't know how much closer to turtle slow I can get. to go press this back. I'm going to press it towards the black and actually let's press it here first because it helps it lay better when I get to the iron. Mm, I know you do every time and every time I would like to thank you. Oh well I love watching you and hanging out and chatting and everybody that's a YouTube channel I feel you guys all need the same love and attention because we all do this for one specific thing to help others out there so <clears throat> oh. so once I get this pressed with my little tool I'm gonna take it to the iron then grab another pink and black strip unit Grossly. grab another set. I have a cameraman who came in for no apparent cameraman reasons. <laughs> I'm not going to be here for long. I'm not going to be here for long. Anyways. What, can you turn the camera off my chit, my, my, chitty, well. my chitties? <laughs> I was going to say chest and titties at the same time. It came out as chitties. <laughs> there, it's at your face the best I can get. Um, that's not what I want. Just turn it the way it was. <laughs> CJ's trying to be goofy with the camera. Yes, I don't know. Okay. Wait, did it see your face before or no? Yes, it did see my face before, so can you tip it back up, please? And you can't see anything at the bottom, though. Thank you. You don't need to see anything, just the quilting in my face. Well, that's what I meant. You can go <laughs> see the quilting when it sees your face. Um, da, 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 da. Where was I? Where was I? Okay, where was okay right there? Um, where, okay, I saw that one. Saw that. Shout out. Saw that. Tiff, I think there is a group of us that just go around all the same YouTube channels. I always see some of the same names and all the ones I, that I watch. It's a wonderful group. Yes, it's just we're all the same people that go from channel to channel to channel because you guys will see me on every channel too so. well as many as I can fit in my weekday if that makes any sense because uh, sometimes I miss a lot of people's videos and I have to watch them after the fact that I used to watch on a consistent basis before I started a YouTube channel but 
yeah, now I don't watch them on a consistent basis. But most people I try to, but I have my weeklies that I'm always on. What's the name of invisible thread for quilts? Um, that's a good question because I don't know where I put the invisible thread that I have. Get, get it? It's invisible. <laughs> Sorry, I really don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it is or what the name of it is. It came from Superior Threads, though, but I don't know where it is. Um, you know, I always thumbs up when I first come on so I don't forget. Awesome, thank you. Um, why are you in a bad mood? Can we cheer you up? Okay, because I just am. Huh? Do you want me to read for you? No, I got it. Okay. I just didn't want to smell your perfume because it's really, really strong. Okay. And I already have this tickle in my throat, and I don't want to agitate it anymore. Okay, well, I'm going to go. Okay, love you. Uh, let's see, I love how everyone is sharing YouTube. That is home I found out. So, Becca and Tiffany. So, yeah, Yvette's Stephanie. I have a lost note with everyone's days and times. Eh, mine is always on Sundays at 5 p.m. my time. Rain or snow. Happy or sad, just because. Um, anyways, bad mood is because I was, I didn't get no sleep last night. I went to bed like five o'clock this morning. I woke up at seven o'clock this morning to the sound of screaming kids. And sometimes, normally it's just in one ear and out the other and I can just eh, roll through it. But I just did not feel like having kids around today. So I told Scott. I don't think I want to work some days no more. And then through the day I got over it, went in the pool and played with them. And it's just one thing after another kind of just kept hitting those buttons. So I just decided to attempt to have a good day and come on here. And so, <laughs> but everything I do today is horrible. Wait, what? Becca, is that you? Why did you do that, Becca? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I don't. This is my second super chat that I have ever had. Do you guys see that? Becca just gave me my second ever super chat. Where did I go? Where did it go? It's right there. Okay, same thing. So thank you, Becca. Love ya. <laughs> I appreciate that. It still doesn't take away my bad mood. <laughs> Not even the fabric is taking it away. That's why I'm not really sewing. <laughs> it's so horrible. I don't know why. I just am in a bad mood. Like, I don't know if it's just because the coughing and I have the tickle in my throat all day or just the sensation in my body that I just cannot stand anymore. Or the itching and I'm trying not to scratch and just, I don't know. I don't know what all this, just everything. Sometimes it gets to people. So maybe sometimes you guys have the same thing. Sometimes whatever you're going through in life just gets to you and causes a bad mood. Um, uh, Evie doesn't have a YouTube channel, but I'd love to follow the beautiful ladies that have one. Aw, how sweet. Uh, how big are your squares? I found my backing flannel. I was looking for something. I was looking for, now I can finish my baby quilt. These were two and a half inch squares. Yeah, because they're two inch, so they were two and a half. Um... Where was I? Where was I? Eric, I need to quilt a giraffe, but I don't want to take away from the giraffe. I need invisible thread. Oh, I actually have that giraffe pattern. Where did I put that? It's over on the shelf. I have a giraffe pattern I really want to do. It's done with jelly roll strips. Does anybody have that giraffe pattern? Because uh, I really want to do the giraffe pattern with the jelly roll strips. But I don't know. And I'm going to have to get a colorful jelly roll for it. Because I don't know if I want to do. And baby colors are adult people colors. You know. Um, Donna has no idea what she's doing. Borders just winging it. Need to make a bad mood button. Just to warn people. <laughs> <coughs> Mine, I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm, I'm rude sometimes to people when I'm in a bad mood, but then I say the same things every time, like how I just talk to Ma. I cannot stand the perfume, 
And I tell her all the time. She that says she's not wearing. She's wearing perfume. She's wearing perfume, lots of it. And everybody knows certain smell. I tell the kids not to wear deodorant around me because the smell of deodorant is absolutely horrid. Absolutely horrid. So, I mean, it's not like they don't know already that I have specific, you know, issues. So if they feel like I'm being rude to them by telling them things that. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. I've told the same thing over and over before, so. <clears throat> uh, how long is your quilt getting now, and what is the goal for this one? Um, it's not very long. Let me sew this piece on real quick while I'm just sitting here. It's not very long just yet. It's probably about 30-something inches. Not really paying attention honestly I'm trying to find as many of these that can go in here and then the rest of them I'm just going to go all the way around with it because I have no other choice what to do with them so I'll hook them all together and then just piece them on the top bottom and sides and then it'll just be another just really random no reason quilt. Well, it has a reason now. It's for Triana. But... Triana likes to claim things sometimes when she sees things that she likes in here. It's Paris fabric, but she says it's princess fabric because she, I don't think, can say Paris correctly, so she calls it princess. Um, 82 watching, 32 thumbs up. Hit that like button. Thank you, Kim, for the reminder. Uh, sewing a black jelly roll for a quote for my youngest son. Must be the full moon causing the flux and moods. Ugh, who knows? Uh, I just had to finish. Would have been here easier. I always do thumbs up and watch videos when I first come on. Um, again, thank you, Becca, because I'm just passing right past that again. You didn't even put a little note with it. And if you hear a loud sound, that's because they just started the diesel truck. The diesel. Uh, it's not a truck. I don't know why I always say truck. It's a um, Jeep. So. Because CJ has his Jeep here. Um, you're so sweet, Becca. Hi, Maxine. I love you too. Maxine was supposed to be here today. It's kind of good because I'd probably be snipping at her too. <sighs> I wish I was there, Maxine. I'm glad you're not here, Maxine, because you'd probably be getting yelled at for not um sewing properly <laughs> or doing something see above wait what's above see above i don't know what you're talking about becca see above thank you is all you have to say oh well, thank you um, i held out as long as i can need to sleep all by okay brenda we'll see you next time you're probably gone because it's i'm trying to scroll through and see everything everyone's saying good night hi vicky uh sylvia sorry i'm late hi sylvia june hug stiff mm -hmm. i was in a super mad mood earlier and i took some vitamin d and i'm better i went out in the pool does that count as getting my vitamin d because it was it's sunny today and hot uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Well, everybody's allowed to have bad days yes jim it's okay, everybody, even I. Did I send it to you? Yes, Michelle, it's the one from you, the giraffe one. Uh, do any of you YouTube quilters start and finish a quilt online? Yes, Becca does too. I do and Becca does. I need to follow the whole process a few times to learn. Well, I have plenty of beginner quilt videos that you can go back and in, into my videos. There's an album in my um, albums, like if you go to... Uh, my page and then you go over to playlists and go through the playlist there's a play playlist of patterns i have designed and most of them are verbal directions and visual directions there's no written directions there's only like two or three patterns that i've ever done that i put a pdf out for and those you can get uh in the facebook group i think i don't know if they're still i don't know if they stay available forever but they're in the facebook group so if you're interested, and then um, every Friday, Becca makes tries to make a whole entire quilt. She stays up pretty late making a whole quilt in a um, in a video. So she does that too. The only thing we don't do 
in the video from start to finish is we don't really ever quilt the quilt in the same video that we make and piece the top. The quilting always comes next in a different video. So I can't do any long arm quilting until, and it doesn't seem like the mid September is going to work because it's still going to be the beginning of September and it's still hot as heck here. So Robbins is appliqued. Ooh, that sounds fun. I saw one. She had high heels on. Mini alligator nursing shoes. So pretty. Wishful thinking. Be lucky to get out of my house right now. It's a beautiful quilt. I only forgot the name, but you're welcome to have my email. Uh, what is your Facebook group? It is in the description below. So below this video, if the chat wasn't there, you can X out of the chat. And below the video is the description. In the description, um, if you follow the links, it says join us. Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups now again because I'm talking too much. Um, it says join fellow quilters in the community Facebook group. So, and then just click on that. It'll take you over to Facebook and that's a group where everybody posts um, photos and stuff of their projects. And then I try to, I try, but I don't always get to posting the pictures of the finished projects I do on here. And Becca has the same for her, um, for her channel as well. And Teresa just started one for hers. So... A lot of the YouTubers have a group that corresponds with their channel so that we can share and update and stuff, especially people that are doing quilt alongs and so on and so forth. It makes it a lot easier for us to share our projects and get the word out and when the next video will be or if we're going to cancel anything or just anything we need to post. And then everybody else also gets the opportunity to share their projects as well. All right, I'm going to press this and then I can tell you how big it is so far. Um, it is not very, um, big yet. That's all I know. I need to add another thing, but right now it's at 38 inches, but I still have to add another, um, another thing of strips. So I have this many more so far that need to see how long they are. To see if they pass inspection, inspection to see if they're the right length. And it looks like I dropped all my pink strips in the garbage. It's a good thing I don't put anything else in the garbage. Um, where was I? I'm out of the camera for just two seconds because I need to see something. When I get a chance. I'm going to have to start looking for it. Where is it? I have no idea what happened to my little thing. And the things that frustrate me more is when I cannot find something I'm looking for. So, all right, I'm just going to put that aside. So next week, uh, next week I can either put together the table runner, log cabin table runner that I got. And the other project that I have is this Lazy Girl Wonder Wallet. Remember I said I was going to make this? I really want to because it's for like credit cards and money and whatever. Um, so I was thinking about making this, but I'll replace the Velcro with, um, with a, a metal, because um, I have a metal thingamabobber. Oh my God, the word's not coming out of my mouth. Um, a magnet closure. So I can either do this project or this project because these are all pre-cut. So this could be for like next Sunday. So that way I can have something to do. So I'll do one of these next week. hard to iron when my iron is out of water. Ah, oh, oh, that's hot. Sounds 
sounds like a sizzling. So yeah, those are the projects I can do next week, one or the other. I'm not going to do both in one day. But since I got them, I might as well use them. Alright, so I'm right here again. Where was I? I'm going to bring this closer to me. Oops. Um, here's, oh, you guys have to add that just, just so people know. So for those that are new to YouTube, just get rid of the chat. This is the same with cell phones and everything. And below every single video is this little arrow right here. See, there's a little arrow. Let's see how close to the screen I can get. See that little arrow? You can either hit that, knock it down, and underneath you can scroll through links to everything. So there's links to this, 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 and that. Okay? So I have all the links and or on my channel. Here's my channel right here. You can go to videos, which shows all the videos, and or when you want to find a specific video, go to playlists. And I have tons of playlists, but you guys can only see the ones that I've created, patterns made by me and stuff. So... Just so you know. And somehow, some way, there's probably messed up ones in there because I save things and they never end up in this, the proper uh, file. But just so you know, that's where it is. And then you just hit back at live chat and it goes back to the chat. All right. Um, okay, was it the apple? I have one. She has high heels on and the alligator nurse's shoes. I do have the pattern drawn out. Uh, wishing, thankfully, Eric could get lucky to get out of my house right now. I have thousands of two and a half inch squares, so I'm always looking for new ideas. And this is so simple, so simple. Just 100% beginner friendly type thing. It's just two and a half inch squares all hooked together in row, two rows. And then each row is divided by a two inch strip and a one and a half inch strip on each side of that that's all I had available to do it with so and it's kind of just giving it that the black is actually making this pink super 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 pop out which is actually really really adorable so Triana's gonna love it um, and yeah that's all I'm doing so I'm just adding a uh, this row on each side you know and just keep going down further and further but I have to make sure that they fit because mine were actually cut these, the, the length of these weren't cut right, so I'm trying to see how many I have available, and then the rest are just going to go all the way around the whole entire thing. So, some are the length I need, some are not. So I'm just matching it up here at this end and following it down to that side, and if it does not come close to that end, then I don't use it. So this one came close, so obviously I'm going to use it. Um... Okay, I already got there. Uh, we got the links. Test later. Pop quilts. So you have posted a new quilt that uses a lot of 2.5 inch squares. You are talented enough to change it up. Virginia. I mean quiz. What? Pop quiz? You meant a quiz. What? What do you need a quiz for, Eric? I'm lost on the conversation, as you can tell. Um, that leaves me out. I don't want homework. Hi, Linda. Everyone's saying hi, Linda. Jean Hansen. Oops, I meant that for my name. My apologies. I would like to share a picture and pattern of my zoo animals and beautiful high heels. Okay, share it in the group. That would be awesome. Zoo animals and heels. Would love to see that. Yeah, right? Definitely something to take a bad mood away. Animals and heels. Um... I mean, you can't type and read at the same time you walked in that, in that one. <laughs> so we're just kidding around, homework and quizzes. Okay, I enjoy watching and listening. Howdy, cutie, cuties. It's best we can. 18 jars of salsa today. Wow, Mary, that's a lot of salsa. <laughs> Eric says he's got the tortilla chips. I cannot find Teresa's quilting group. Um... Teresa can post a link to it if she uh, on here. I don't care who posts their links to their groups, the channels that I also subscribe to and hang out with. So, uh, hi Tammy. 
All right, so let's get this next row put on. Again, I'm just alternating my sewing. So this time I'm going to line everything up nicely. And I'm going to sew from the bottom, which has me with my sewing going the opposite way. So it's kind of like when you sew jelly roll strips together and they tell you to alternate the directions to keep from bowing. Well, that's pretty much what I'm doing because that's pretty much what this is like. So just stretch sides together and sewing. You know, the best quilts are always the ones just randomly made for no apparent reason, just because you felt like sewing something. They're the ones that always come out the cutest. The ones that you plan are the ones that you see all the mistakes in. You can point every single one of them out, but this was made for fun, so there's no mistakes. <laughs> It's all just one big mistake. Oh, why did I do that? I'm a dummy. I have no idea. Tiffany's gone mad. Okay, let me press this back real quick. I should have pre-pressed it first, but that's okay. I will make it work. Here at the ironing board. It's starting to bow because, not because of the things, but because the there's strip sets next to the strips to four patches. So there's a different stretch in it, I guess. I don't have no idea, but it's not a lot. It's just a little bit of bowing. Not enough to drive me crazy. Just enough to make me sort of need to press it better. All right. See, and I messed up by not going um, pinning, but that's okay. Again, I really don't care because this isn't anything special. It's just for Triana to have for her little bed that's on the floor. She had to get a new bed here because her other one broke. So she has a new mattress and she'll have fun with it. Uh, with a quilt on it. Oops. So, I'm going to line this where the equalness is and because I really don't care how it lines up. <clears throat> it seems that I have a big I don't care mood going on today, right? I don't care how it turns out, what happens. Not normally this way. Usually I care how things are going to be. Because I want it to at least lay flat when I quilt it and stuff. So. Technically, since this is just strips, I don't think it's going to be a big deal if I don't care about it. Alright, got another one on. Let's press this. See how many more I can get in because I have two more um, pink and black strips over here on the ironing board. So let's see if I have enough to of the other strips. All right. I just hold it on the end, line it up, see if it matches, and that does not match, so that's going to go with order. I'm wondering how many are going to be so messed up like this, that they're like almost a whole entire square short. Nope, not long enough. I'm getting close, I better have at least two more. Hopefully... The only thing about whatever I was doing, I was probably just trying to 
make a whole entire square quilt or something. Oh, hey, look, there's one that matches. Let's make sure these last ones match as well. That way I could have two more. This really sucks. Definitely nope. And one more. No. Oh well. If that's all that there is. Oh well. I will improvise. And that's the right size. Ooh, look at that. So I have two that I can use. So I'm going to put this on here. Um, i got to scroll this back down. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, wow, this is like really far. You guys are really talking here. Uh, zoo animals and heels. I'd love to see it. Okay, I saw that part. Let's see, where are we? How are you having quizzes? Uh, I meant for modeling, can't type same here. <laughs> oh, I saw that watching and listening to everyone. Um, I cannot find Teresa's quilting guru. We can't find jars or lids in my town, 40 miles out to Walmart. Check to see if I have any luck. I just, I can just picture cheetah and heels. <laughs> I said hi to Tammy. Mary, you having a party, right? Hi, Teresa. I'm just doing today. That's what I'm doing. I'm just blah. <laughs> this is one of those days. <clears throat> Small independent hardware stores, maybe tractor supply. One camera wants some money to two different kinds. We switched everywhere. Do you have a rule? King or tractor supply? Rookie mistake, I sewed my side border on and forgot to add the squares for the corner. <laughs> ah, funny. Uh, did you get out of the gorgeous weather today? Okay, so I'll try the Dollar General. They're out. Uh, I've been asking if Teresa's okay. Mary, I off with try. Hi, Barbara. I'm sending a room and say you're watching somebody sewing. Ladies, my new sewing room is almost finished. Only thing left is the ceiling and electrical outlet plates. Wow, awesome, Teresa. That's really cool. Congratulations on having a new sewing room. I want to paint mine. But then I told you guys this. I really want to paint in here. I don't know what. I want to paint like a lavender or a purple color of some sort. But I know with filming, it needs to be on the lighter side so that everything can stay nice and bright. But... We'll see. Due to the heat here, it's kind of hard to have any kind of curtains that are sheer or see-through to allow light in. In the winter time, it's okay, but in the summer, it is not okay. Um, but yeah, I, I want to paint my room. But that means I have to like pull everything away from the walls and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just not in the mood. Mm. Make first. If that is cute. Love the colors. Thank you, June. Um, I need to sew. My friend has never canned, so she wants canned beans. Beans, peaches, and jelly. Mari, just roll her eyes. Uh, Mary, start. Nine sisters by Cozy Quilts. Can't wait. Plus, I have some embroidery items to finish. Oops. All right. I'm just going to sew this on now, and then grab another, and sew that on, and then I'll try to do my best to continue with comments. Um, to the ones that are too short can take them apart, combine them, so it'd be long enough. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook them all together and then sew what I need amount, and then trim. So I'll just hook them all together. No big deal. And then what's left over will go around the whole entire thing. Well, at least the two leftover sides, hopefully, that won't have any of this on. As long as I can get the amount of strips that sets that I made, these, um, used up in length, and I should be able to complete this today. Because it's not really, not really doing much. Nothing fancy, no 
fancy measurements and oops I just messed up and I do uh, tea if you see this video or anybody that has one of these seam rippery things um, I have a question so if T comes on and sees the video I might have to ask her or I'll just ask her separately but um, if anybody else has one of these I need to ask does it fall out and I'm going to show you what I mean by that so oh it's not going to do it because I'm I'm on live stream oh there we go see I don't know what's happening here like one side is not staying so I thought well maybe if I put this one on this side it doesn't work and the hole does not change size so I was wondering if it happened to anyone else maybe if it's because the temperature here or something but it does not fit on there and then I colored it so it kind of stays I put marker all the way around it thinking that it would be whatever but I was kind of curious if anybody else had this problem it's only the one side but I don't want to put the poker on that side because I don't want the poker to continuously fall out. But if I keep it sticking out, it stays in. But it's this side that's not. So I was thinking maybe if I put some tape on it or something. But as long as I keep it sticking out, it's okay. But I don't really want to because I don't want it to break. So it's, you know, if I just kind of sit it in there and just don't move it, then it's fine. But uh, yeah, I was curious if anybody else's did that because. That was just the weirdest thing. I went to put it back in. I don't know. Uh, it was actually uh, after we had talked on that bit on T's video thing that one night. Um, I was using it and then I put it back and then by the next morning it wasn't. It wouldn't stay in the hole, so I don't know what happened to it. Um, we're doing. I think I will use the idea. Oh well, fine. Anybody can use this idea. It's pretty simple. What I'm doing, pretty self-explanatory. Um, jungle walk for a cause. Just found the Okay. Um, we every year, my husband grew up on a farm. Order stuff from Amazon. Can't wait to first year can green beans, carrots, tomatoes, pans, pickles, and the meat. Wow, that's a lot of canning. Uh, two weeks for twenty dollars. Not one. Let's see. Eric, you should take the canning plunge. Here's Facebook group. Uh, I will. Where's the tutorial? There's nothing like vegetables and fruits. Be canned all winter. Usually stuck getting them. I see them, but this winter. Uh, okay, Maria. I hope for a while. I have one, and it fits snug. See, I don't know why mine is falling out like that. Um, put a. No, we're round around it. That should help. Okay. Um, tip, I've had mine for three years. It's never fallen out. Sounds like something is loose. I've, I've looked in this hole, Eric, a bazillion times. If you look in, in the hole, it seems the same as both sides. I don't know how it could have gotten, you know. <laughs> I don't know how it could have gotten bigger. It's weird. It makes no sense to me and there's nothing messed up inside of there like I could see some like these little clippy looking things in there I don't it would be hard to show that on camera like um, but this side's fine see you really have to pull but this side I don't know what happened that shouldn't happen so I don't know what happened to it I just randomly did that so I don't know if it's because of my heat here or Actually, this room isn't really that hot. This is actually the coolest room in the house. Um, or if it's just the weather or what it is. I have no idea. Um, I'm loving your color choices. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I went with black instead of dark gray. At first, I thought dark gray. I was like, wait a second. There's so much dark gray already in here. And I don't have enough white to throw into a project like this for Triana. Plus, I don't white and children should be in the same quilt <laughs> because they are. They drag it around the house, and she's going to be playing with this with her little animals and stuff. So I figured, you know what? We'll just stick with brighter colors, and then Sasha will probably want it too. So it's both of them to play with and use on their beds or whatever they want to do with it because it's just a kid quilt. Um, 
Hi, Cindy. And let's study after the Indy car race. We can't watch long, but wanted to say hi. Okay, that's fine. Welcome. <clears throat> and from here, Granite City, Goofy Foam Kim. Try wrapping a small band around and then and and see if it will stay in. Around the outside of it, you mean? You want me to put a rubber band on the outside of it? Is that what you're saying? Or just around this piece right here? Because I'm not sure. Either way, I got to do something to keep it in there because I don't want to drop it and then forget that it fell out, maybe, if that's if that happens to anybody. Forget that that piece falls out and then step on it. That would be so horrible. I mean, like I said, as long as it's not the side with the stiletto, the stiletto would hurt. That would be something that hurts, but... Either way, it's a really nice um, seam ripper, and I don't want the seam ripper ripper part to break, if that makes any sense, because it's definitely better than my other seam ripper. Use masking tape or electrical tape. That might work. Ooh, electrical tape. I have lots of electrical tape. I'll send you a post postcard from Illinois. Okay, thank you. We'll see you next time, Cindy. <clears throat> um, thanks for the thumbs up reminder, Kim. I think the spring is loose. There's a spring. What? There's no spring in here. I really have to look in it again because there's, there's like a, I don't know what even to explain that is in there. It's like some kind of like sticky outy thing. I don't even know how to explain it. But like some areas are flat and then it has like a push out inside of there hard to like focus to look inside this thing yeah it's just like a little groove thing but the grooves on both sides look exactly the same it doesn't look like anything's changed the size looks exactly the same like I don't know how that would happen but it happened and I may be the only one this happens to but if it happens to someone else at least you know that um, it can happen I don't know why but it can All right, I'm going to press this real quick and then grab another set and sew it on. <clears throat> so did anybody come on a decision? Did you guys have a decision on if I should make the log cabin or the wonder wallet next week? Because I need something to do on Sunday, but I can't be making any more big quilts right now because my plate is full when it comes to quilting them all. I have so much quilting going to be backlogged for me, and I still have people that are going to come to me needing quilting because they always come back every year saying they need quilting because they like it and want it done. So I want to still be able to get my stuff done too. So I don't want to make any more tops right now besides this, but this I could just quilt in here because this isn't going to be anything specific. It's not going to need... Um, specialty quilting you can just get stitched in the ditch for all I care or for all Triana cares because she really won't care either so I'm going to go backwards on this one now as you've noticed I've rotated this whole thing back and forth I'm holding is the seams down. I don't want them all flipping. I think it'll lay flatter if they stay down. And again, this is just the width of fabric. These pieces, these, there, there's nothing that's attached. Because um, I figured most of these seemed like they were with the fabric. That's why I just went with the width of fabric. Uh, when I started grabbing the pink and the black. But definitely didn't know that most of the pieces were a lot smaller than I thought. But I did not measure anything. So.
press this one. <clears throat> and again, I'm just pressing towards my strip. Oh, this is getting pretty darn long. After adding this next strip piece, I should be good in length, and then I'll just go around the whole thing with the width. So, here, this is where I'm at so far. Just face you this way for a second. So, I'll add another uh, strip set on top. So, another one of these on top of this. And then I'll go one more time with this, but it, instead of ending it with one of these, what I'm going to do is take and hook all the strip sets together, you know, hook all these sets together, put it around the top first and then go down both sides and the bottom is technically finished. So that way I can have used up the last of this as well. And I think that'll be cool. But I'll trim it first because the sides are definitely not even, as you can tell. See, it sticks out, so obviously I'll have to trim it all nice and even, and then I'll just hook it all on there. So that should be pretty darn good. Let's put you guys back this way. I'm going to hook this one on here. Yep, that's what I'll do. So I'll add the one more um, pink and black set thing and then uh, go across the top with the other thing after I hook them all together and then down the two sides. That way this can be done really quick. Oh. Sorry, my forehead is starting to itch more and more and more as I'm here. Um, okay, I saw that pretty quote. What are you making? Hi, Karen. I'm just making random today. Um, maybe you better talk to T before you put tape on it. Yeah, I'm going to talk to T and see what she says. I just asked if anybody else had that happen because I know a lot of people purchased one. So, um, you tricks don't know about germs. Interesting. I have a blue one like yours, Tiffany. I purchased it also one a yellow one and does it do that if that's what we're talking about the wallet uh the table runner uh wander wallet because i need one <laughs> uh i need hi tiffany the fabric is pretty what is the name of the maker or where did you find it of what the fabric line um i have no idea this has been sitting in a pile of junk that i need to to finally put together um it's whatever line it is it's probably some kind of floral paris or something in the name um it came from tuesday morning which is gets fabric from anywhere and everywhere and i actually have more of this fabric right here i even think i have some of this and some of the um one with the what the um eiffel tower uh, I don't think I have any of the bicycle ones. And I do have white on white. This is whatever. I don't know what the name of this is, though. Uh, Kevin, I got the Jack the Sam River. You're going to with your son and your family. It's probably... Scrap, subscribe, you can ask. Yeah, this is just stuff that I had. Log, it looks like Log Cabin is winning so far. <laughs> um... I had a guy today, she wanted somebody to find and make her a t-shirt quilt lap size out of his pool game t-shirts. I laughed and said, nope, not me, a lot of work. Yeah, a couple people come to me for t-shirt quilts. I said, I don't really do those that often because it costs more than you think <laughs> to make them. Um, that's so darn cute, love the colors, boy. It is a pretty pink, yeah. Uh, really cute. T might um, do it. T quilts. Beautiful, lovely. Looks so warm. Hi, Patricia. Uh, looks good. Um, Catherine. 
She's, oh, she's telling everyone where she lives. Just peachy. Hi, just peachy. Um, just got here. Did you get your $60 haul put away? Most of it. Um, there's some things that haven't been put away and some things that are kind of put away. I didn't get a chance to get everything completely situated because I'm out of comic book card. And um, I don't have... I do have room on my shelf. I do have room. I just need to kind of reorganize. So right now, my stack is just kind of folded. And I'll show you guys in a minute. Plus, I'll show you guys what I purchased. Remember I told you I spent my um, earnings from YouTube on um, fabric from So Yeah. I'll show you guys what fabric I purchased. Although one thing I got was the wrong thing. But I'm not going to complain because... I can't go back to the original video because it's not there to see what number I know for a fact I got and what the fabric looks like. So I'm not really going to complain because I can't tell them. I know what the fabric looked like, but I can't tell them the exact number it was because obviously the video is not there. So I will end up using it eventually, but I still need to find more fabric of what I was looking for in the colors that I was looking for, but that's okay. Sometimes they, they have a lot of people that get stuff, so there's always going to be a mess up here and there. And I'll show you guys that. Let me press this first, and then um, I'll show you my not-so-put-away pile. And no, I'm not using my fingernail. I'm just using the pad of my finger. I just want to get this quick. Just pushing it back so I can press it. I don't like using the pad on my finger because it messes with my nerves, but... Yeah, I ran out of comic book card, which is a lot thinner than using the um, dollar store uh, poster board, which I, I use it anyway, the poster board, but I prefer the comic book card. Alright, so here is my stack see so this is the stuff that hasn't got but I just folded it as if it was on comic book card and it's just here for now because I can't get the pile to stand up straight and the rest of it you wouldn't even know it's here there everywhere it's just kind of thrown mm. in you know and then let me grab let me stick this down for a second and this is what I ordered from so yeah these are all one yard cuts. So I got two um, five one yard cut bundles. So as you can see, I got them all in purples because you guys know purple is my favorite color and my next project is going to be in purples. So, and they're all batiks. So this is one of the things I, well two technically, this is two orders. I love this one. And the other one that I was supposed to get was kind of like this, but it was, I mean, in color-wise, but it was purple on the background, and it had swirls instead. So it was like this color, but it had um, colorful swirls in it, is what it was supposed to be. And I ended up with something else, which I'll have to get down, because I put it away. But And then that. So these are all one-yard cuts. They're so pretty. So pretty. But when it comes to my next big project, when I finally do get a chance to get to it, this will be what I'm using. And then here, I'll just leave that there for a second. And then the three yard cut that I was supposed to get was supposed to look like something else, but instead it's this. It's a batik, but it's blue. With It's like a gray blue or dirty blue, I guess, if you want to call it, with a, um, like a grayish blue. It's actually like the color of my house, um, color in it. So, and as you can tell, none of this matches. Well, for me, it doesn't, it does not look good together. So, I'm going to have to find another purple, because this does not look good to me. I mean, it does, It's it, it will go with it, but it's not the theme I'm looking for. So I definitely need to look for something else to go with all that. But that'll be for my, this will be for my next big project. I 
and then where was I? I put it. And then I also got a double wide Dresden ruler because I needed that. You guys know me, I love my Dresden, so I got a double wide Dresden ruler. All right, now where was I? So that was all the things I got. My room is somewhat cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna add to this side now, I think. No, I'm not, I'm gonna just keep adding to this side. All right, so I'm gonna grab one more, which is the last one of these, and I'm gonna hook it on here. Cut this end off real quick, and then I'll read. So yeah, I got most of all my other stuff put away except for everything that's on my ironing board. And when you guys saw when I turned around, my ironing board is still a disaster. Um, I'm kind of just going through some stuff. And then, yeah, as soon as I finish cleaning up, then it'll be nice and clean. And I just sat directly on this, yanking it. Um... Okay. So cute. Saw that. Saw that. Okay, I was right there. I hate uh, high late comers. <laughs> high late comers. Um, very cool idea. I got the line at Walmart a while back. Yeah, Joanne's had that fabric. Uh, have some of it. Um, everyone's saying hi. Hi, Terry. Um, I love my son's shirts, t-shirt, quilt, patch bows. I've been saving for, like, because I want to do a t-shirt quilt, but for myself in the future, not right now, not anytime, anytime soon, because it's going to take a while, but I want to do mine out of rock band t-shirts. So I've been collecting old 90s rock band t-shirts and earlier, not just 90s, but like, 80s 70s 60s rock band shirts and uh it takes a while because like thrift stores don't have rock band shirts and i'm not going to pay 20 dollars a shirt to buy like an acdc shirt online or or a led zeppelin shirt online and then or even a smashing pumpkins shirt i'm not going to pay that price 20 dollars or more for a t-shirt when i'm chopping it up you know so i mean i know you need less t-shirts for a t-shirt quote but if i'm going to make something big enough for my bed Obviously, I need more t-shirts than what I can... I'm not going to pay $20 a shirt. Just put it that way. So, yeah, it's going to take a while for me to collect shirts as I find them. I had... I think I had, like, 10 all together myself. And then Scott bought me a shirt recently. And then my neighbor gave me one to add to my pile. Um, so, yeah, I have some rock band t-shirts from 90s and earlier. But not enough for a big quilt. I watched so oh, yeah last night, but didn't see anything I wanted. I saw some things I wanted, but I had no money to purchase. <laughs> I'm kind of broke. Uh, I got my fabric from so yeah the other day, and said, "Well, I don't think I ordered." Oh well, I got it now. Oof, yeah. Mary and abandoned herself from so yeah. Yeah, I'm. I grounded myself from. I could watch the videos for now, like I do, but I'm not going to purchase anything for a while until, I, unless I find that per perfect purple batik that I'm looking for. So, but they didn't have it on last night. But I didn't stay on the whole video because I went to watch tea quilts instead. So, which keeps me from purchasing as well. Ended up with an iron. <laughs> uh, I guess the moral of the story is to write down the numbers. Yes, it, write down the numbers that you win. Definitely or else you're going to get something else but I like most of the orders just that last fabric it wasn't something I mean when they boxed it they should have saw a theme to all my stuff but they have so many things to box up I guess it's okay you know Kim lost internet Tiffany to get that last. no Teresa this was last week last Saturday um, serious question for everyone is there a difference in quality uh on cutting mats i've had my fiskars for years and it still works good but wondering if there is a difference with other brands you know what that's a good question eric because i've been using my fiskars in here and it's amazing and i had an ulfa um i had the ulfa out in the garage now a big huge ulfa cutting mat and um 
that one's indentations seem to be a little bit more gougier, like like when you go to go over the fabric with the cutter. And sometimes it has that little spot that didn't get and you have that one little string of thread that you got to clip real quick. Well, those little gouges from going over the same places over and over again, I think on the, the green Ulfa one, are a little bit more deeper than they are on the Fiskars. But you also got to think the Fiskars mats are really, really thin compared to the... Uh, um, Ulfa mats, which are like, I would say, a, more than an eighth of an inch thick. These aren't, the Fiskars aren't even an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. So I think for the brand mat, the more gougier it's, it's going to be because, yeah, I've seen a lot of different quilters with different mats and um, you can see the, the markings from the same places they cut over and over again. And you can tell what mat it is just because the name's on it and it's usually in the video. Um, so far, this fist, as long as I wash it, it's good, but um, not completely good. I still have those little pieces of thread that don't catch some areas, but I make sure to rotate myself around my mat when I cut. That's another thing. Rotate yourself around the mat. The numbers are on it all sorts of ways for reasons so you can turn it around and move it and whatever so that way you're not always in that same exact spot creating a deeper gouge but yeah i've noticed the green mat definitely has a thicker uh same over and over lines than the fiskars does so there's a big difference there on those two no matter where i wet whether i wash it or not or f the flip side has no markings on it but that side you would only use for like certain cuts or if you only use your rulers to cut but I always start a cut with the ruler markings or I mean with the mat markings and then use the ruler for every other cut which for me my brain sees easier so if there's no marking on a mat I can't get that first cut my brain just doesn't see it that way but I do align my ruler if I have to but most of the time I go with what what I just choose a line on the mat and then go with it but yeah I think that the cutting there's a difference between all the cutting mats definitely <coughs> i missed your fabric oh it's okay kim <coughs> i'll post a picture of the fabric that i got <coughs> i go back on my phone to see if i could put them together with what i wrote down uh to me i was watching when you bought yeah it was like spur of the moment purchases too Teresa. <laughs> let me tell you I saw the purple and I was just like, oh, my eyes light up. And I was like, Scott, I'm buying this with what I made. And he's like, how much are you spending? I was like, oh, I don't know yet. And then he kept pulling out these bundles with purples. And I was like, I, I can't get that one. No, we'll just wait and see the next one. And I would wait and see the next one. Oh, and the next one was better than the last one. I was like, oh, man. They really teased me with those purples, let me tell you. So I came back on right at the right size. <clears throat> this guy's lasted longer than the I cut in the same place much it doesn't take long to cut right through it oof yeah uh, plus Fiskars is replaceable for life if you guys didn't know that as long as you have the receipt I've replaced two now through Fiskars and they sent me a new one so I have two other extra ones that I don't even use I just use them for like when I need a spinny kind of mat I just pick them up and use them they're kind of big for that but that's what I use them for something from the thrift store okay tiffany i have two clothes that always have those have what wait what are we talking about <clears throat> i'm lost already kim um mats but the mats are huge there are notions great i mean, i don't mean disrespect but the light the way they wanted 30 dollars for it and on amazon is 13.99 with free shipping for their notions, they aren't great. I don't mean any disrespect them. That light they wanted 34 and is on Amazon for $13.99 and free shipping. I have no idea what we're doing. You guys have probably lost me in this conversation because some of it gets skipped and I can't help that. So I'm sorry if I missed it. Um, but the real big one you put together and use it on the side of the table. Call me later and we'll look through my boutique, see if we can find what you need. Okay, Teresa. Uh, irons are found $76 plus free shipping. They wanted $120 and then pay for shipping too. <clears throat> they did have purple batiks last night. Yeah, I didn't stay on long enough to watch it all last night. 
So did I watch the rest of the next day and tell my kids I'm so broke I can't pay attention, right? And their rulers, they wanted 30, found them for 22, and that's stuff, you know, supporting their shop, but I'm broke and I just can't afford that stuff. I completely understand. Where did you find for 7600 I don't know, I figured they'd work. They'd kick me off, don't need it either. I'm going to start sewing this while I try to read. If I bring this over, I can kind of see better. Got my kids not <clears throat> find funny. Uh, I thought mm, I was mistake a bid for, and I sent for a private email. Oh, well, I just felt so bad. I didn't know what I could do about it. I sent Becca a message too. Are you still here, Becca? I know Becca was here just a little while ago. Mm, got an email. I just felt so bad. I didn't know what to do about it. <clears throat> Same as we were talking about. So there's where to find one cheaper. Panasonic cordless with the water tank. It was the exact same one they were selling in Teal. Uh, it's been fun listening. You're talking. I wish I could stay longer. God bless. Bye. Okay, Sarah. Bye. Uh, Amazon wanted to sell. I think it was 22 slotted rulers. I bought mine from Nancy. Nancy's Notions. Don't remember what I paid for it. Talking about last night's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I was over on T-Quilts watching. So, uh, Thank you, Jim, for the thumb. Thumbs up reminder, everybody. Uh, the reason for the thumbs up and thumbs down and any kind of thumb anything underneath the videos and the subscribing and the sharing and the so on and so forth is it just helps keep the videos in rotation so that other people get a chance to see them that are not subscribed and haven't been over to my channel. And I can tell you this right now, for those of you who give me the thumbs down, I really don't care that you're giving me thumbs down. That's on you. I don't know why you're watching my video then if you're going to dislike it. But either way, guess what? Your thumbs down helps me. So <laughs> the only reason why I threw that in there is because uh, last week I had to go through a bunch of my videos and edit some information down in the link because I lost a link again. And I was going through the things and I noticed a lot of my videos had thumbs down and like seriously... There's only like 500 views and it has like three thumbs down or five thumbs down. That makes no sense, like seriously. So there's three or five of pe people that are watching these videos that... Why are you watching them then if you're just going to dislike it, you know? Why why stay watching? But yeah, I, I looked and I'm like thinking to myself, they don't know. That actually helps either way because it's activity on the page and it switches over, you know, so other people can see. So whatever but yeah anything you do it's just activity to help me that's all it is you comment some random nonsense and i'll delete your dumb random nonsense but it's just kind of funny you know and it's just activity the more comments the more interaction the more reach the more people see my videos so if you really hated me that much you wouldn't watch and you wouldn't comment and you wouldn't react because that helps me so yeah hopefully that little rant made sense all right after i get this on i'm going to sew all those end to end real quick and then attach i'm going to um straighten one side up oh i gotta make a clean up a little mess right here i'm going to straighten one side the one side up, well, I guess I'll straighten both sides up. I'll attach the top and then both the two sides because I don't need to attach anything on the bottom. So, <clears throat> and the iron turned itself off again. All right, so this will be almost done pretty much. So let's get those pieces together and then I'll explain one more time how I put this together. Technically it's just strip pieces that were turned into long strip pieces. So they started out as probably two, they were two and a half inch strips I'm pretty sure because I don't think this, I don't buy very many um, uh, there's not layer cakes, uh, charm squares. I ever cut them into two and a half inch squares. I save that for jelly rolls. So it's just two and a half inch squares sewn together and then sewn together and then add a one and a half inch strip a two inch strip and a one and a half inch strip so on that and I just alternated them and then all these I don't know how many there were probably 16 17 of them um, 
more than a jelly roll's worth. I'm pretty sure this was more than a jelly roll's worth of fabric here. It's probably had to at least be two or maybe one and a half because this is a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sew these end to end now though and then go across the top and down the two sides and then then that will be it for this. So let me press this piece up here and then we'll sew those. And it looks like we'll do the log cabin next week because that's the one that more people said yes on. Although I really want to make that little lazy girl wallet. I'm going to have to figure out though on this wallet though because I want to be able to make it more than once. So I'm going to have to find some more stuff for it. So here's what I got so far. I'm just going to show you so far what it looks like. So, so far it is pretty darn tall. It's going to get wide because I will be adding this on both sides after I trim it. So it's definitely the size for her bed, which is on the floor. So let's get this one side trimmed while we're here. Can stare at yourselves for a second. Oh, that's not gonna stay. Stay. There we go. Oh, all those in the trash, and I still have a little bit of scraps of this too. All right, move that out of the way. I'm gonna trim this one side, and then. doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to hook these two ends together. I'm going to line up this side to make this easier. Line it up. Come over here. I'm going to even these out like this so I can get a nice straight cut. like that. Mm. Alright. It all seems level. And now I'm hoping that I'm not trimming away too much. Because that would suck. Everything looks flat. Let me get a nice big ruler. And I really don't care how much I lose, just won't, don't want to lose too much. I'm hoping that I can go right. See, this one's too close to the end. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm wondering how straight it would be if I just cut at those ends. It probably won't be straight, though. Hey, this sucks. I'm going to lose a lot on that. Oh well. Oh well. It happens. Oh well. This was not a planned project, so obviously it's gonna be funky. I don't like that I'm cutting that off. Let's see what it looks like if I just try to even it out. Let's see. Let's not do it correctly. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That's straight. That's straight. I'm lining up this on the back side. I'm going to see something. Get that out of the way. Let's see. If I can keep that a nice straight line all the way down and not lose too much. So I'm going to line that up. Line that up. Line that up, line that up, line this. I'm lining all these, as many as I can line up. I don't want to lose too many of these ends. And last cut on this side. I'll go trim the other side too, that way. They both seem somewhat disproportioned in a proportionate kind of way. Line that up. Oops, it's not very lined up. Ooh, look at that. Not very lined up. There we go, there we go. Let's 
seems good. Seems good. Wow, this one's losing a lot. Like I said, I'm not really caring totally, totally too much. But I do want it to be somewhat straight. I'm going to start right here because we have a shorty right here. Just going to make sure everything's mostly straight. Mostly straight. There we go. Because guess what? I don't care. As long as it's finished. And she can use it. Although I won't be able to quilt it right away. But that's okay. Straight, straight, straight. All that's lined up. I know you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy for cutting this way, but I'm lining up my ruler on all of my seams, so that does help. All the seams lined up. Okay. So now I'm going to hook all those pieces together and go across one side down the bottom. So I'll go across this and then down the two sides. And again, it really doesn't matter that some of these are not whole anymore. Because I really don't care. And Triana's not going to care either. Definitely not. Alright, so let's put you guys back over here. Sorry for the wiggle wobble. I am definitely, for those that are new to my channel, not a cameraman. So, I wish I had some kind of, like, camera where I can just push a button and it just adjusts up, down, side to side. But, fortunately, I don't have money for stuff like that. This is just a quilting channel. Alright. I'm going to hook all these together, end to end. And then I'll trim as I go around. Okay missing comments of course um let's see where are we down some nice fabric hi sue ann this uh fabric it was from a tuesday morning jelly roll thingy more than one jelly roll thingy I think that these little packs come with like seven colors that are the same in it. <clears throat> Beautiful, so pretty, lucky girl. It's good, just want to know we're having a bad thing going on in this world. To me, Tiffany brings my spirit up. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Yogi, even, even I'm in a bad mood and I'm still bringing happy spirit to everybody. That's good, I'm glad. <clears throat> I'm just hooking these end to end, so I'm just going to grab that next end. I'm not even going to break thread. I'm just going to grab another one of these. Uh, what colors are they? Okay, good. Those are opposites. i got to hook opposites on here because I don't really want... Um, I don't want the same two colors touching, if that makes any sense. And then again, I will flip this over like this. Grab another one. That's a bicycle in that end. Oh man. Nope. Let's not use that one. Nope, let's not use that one. What's on this end? Oh, let's use this one. This is my idea of chain piecing. Makes things easier. And I probably won't need all these to go all the way around, but it'll just give me like enough to add a strip to the bottom um, or back, I mean, of the quilt when I'm done. Or throw it in something else. I really don't care. 
Patreon. I can have a little baby, baby doll one for all I care. Um, that's opposite, but the same thing. And those are different. I'll read comments. Oh, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Oh, well, I'll just use the opposite ones. No big deal. And this way. And yes, I'm plucking away whatever was stuck on these. And these two. Oh, well. Match it up anyway. These little snips are not meant for cutting fabric. They're only meant for cutting thread. <gasps> okay, almost done. All right, now to snip all these apart and then read some comments while I just attach. So now I have one just long, long, long piece and a pile of thread on me. Um, so cute, nice job, love the pink and black. Yo, well said, yo, I couldn't prove it. Write the number down and if I get my to order again, I definitely will. Uh, drag it around, happy place, lost an inch on both sides of mine tonight. Ooh. Hi, Jesse from Scottsdale. Um, I'm gonna shake it. So that's work. Everyone's saying hi. Hi, Sue Ann. I think I said that two seconds ago, but not sure. Uh, no, let's see, man. I just used Yvette's pressing stick for the first time. It's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> the long round one. A purple stick from Yvette's shop. I don't know. I watched Miss Tiffany's video where she said who she got out for. I completely forgot. I have to go watch it again. Uh, where she said who she got it for, but I completely forgot who I got what for. <laughs> what? How cute is that? I better watch you. Sorry, I had to step away for a bit. Oh, it's okay, Becca. We kind of figured. I, I thought it was just because it's late there. I'm not sure. All right, let me go find that side. Okay. I don't need these anymore, which I could actually might have enough to go all the way around with those as borders or I can just stick those in my strip stash. All right, so I'm going to add this to the top first and then I'll go as far down until I have to trim it and then I'll add the two sides and then this will be done. And that's it. Um, we should go to those kids this Sunday. We'll all realize how blessed they are, right? Uh, pressing stick from T Quill. So I watch how that guy wants saying hi to Becca. Uh, I need to get some work done. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Eric, you're probably gone by now, but good night. Um, purple presser. Take good care. What's the purple presser? The only things that I know that are purple is my purple thing cutter. And then my other purple actually have a purple thing hanging on the wall right here. This purple thing. Those are the only purple things I know of for anything to do with anything. <gasps> Never heard of a purple presser before. So you'll have to enlighten me, guys. All right, so let me just sew this on and we'll go down the two sides. And the iron turned itself off again. Go figure. I think they need to create a remote for the iron. Like, I could just sit here and go and click the remote on so that it turns itself back on like a minute before I go to it. Because I'm going to need it in a second and it's away from me. So it means I have to get up to turn it on. Hey. 
and it's hard to get in and out of this chair because of the pillows I have stacked on it to keep my back from hurting because my chair broke. <clears throat> haven't been able to find another um, at Goodwill, you know, uh, another bar height chair like this. I think I'm going to do a chair without a back next time. I think that's what I'm going to look on Facebook or something for, for a bar chair without a back and see if that helps me. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I just need to sit without the back because I'm forcing myself to sit up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to sew to this end right here. Cut my thread, and then I'm going to flip it over and just cut right here. On the front side. Because again, remember, I'm not doing anything perfect here. But again, the child is not going to know. But if you want to get your squares perfect, I'm pretty sure there's easy ways to align the exact amount, you know, sewn together on each side. So I'm just going to line my ruler up, trim this off, and then throw this over there because I'll start that on the sides. So let me press this real quick, and then we'll go down the two sides. Want me to read for you or are you done? Um, if you can read, yeah, that'd be nice. I'm almost done, but... Okay, well, we just got home, so I can read. Where's your camera? It's right there. There's Point in that way? Okay, but I can take this thing? Yeah. Okay. Scott's in here, guys. Hello, everyone. It's for me. Better thank Becca. She gave me $10 earlier. My goodness, Becca, you're too nice to us. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I thanked her, because I saw that, and I was like, what? That's my second ever super chat. Well, you got a hundred people on here. They're going fast. I can't. I don't even know where you left off. Oh, I left off. I don't know. You'd have to come over here so I can see. All well, right. Maybe you're just going crazy. Now, I'm going to go down the sides. How's and I'm going to nest Jeff? these two seams, but the rest are really not going to nest, if you guys know what I mean. Because this is, none of these are equal to each other. And you can see right here, if I was to flip it over like this. These two on the outer side are going to be equal because they're the two and a half inch squares, but the rest, nothing is going to line up. And honestly, I don't really care. I'm just going to go around it because Triana is not going to care. Her little bed is not going to care. Oh, um, you're making a cover for Triana's bed? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's awesome. I let her choose this. Hello, everyone. Hello. Or else I wouldn't have had this out. Hey. Triana and her pink stuff. From my mess ups, she gets whatever she wants. Darn spoiled kids get whatever they want. I hope your mom wasn't mad at me for being kind of rude, but I don't know how many times I gotta tell her about that perfume. We'll talk about it later. I gotta be careful Mr. holding this because the uh, the um, sides are like uh, I didn't back tack on any of this, so I don't want it to yank and then slip apart as I'm sewing. the short hair yeah I like it except for what the hair that's falling on my forehead because it makes me itch so much I hate the itch I hate scratching and I scratched myself a big scab right here on this top corner tree on is like poking at Tiffy Tiffy what'd you do Tiffy what'd you do you got boo-boo on your head I was like Tiffy scratched herself silly Donna wants to know if you did a corner yet 
She wants to know if she missed it. Huh? What? Have you done a corner yet? Did I'm coming to it? it right now. Okay. And then I'm going to just chop it right off. So I'm just coming to this end right here, lining them up. I'm just going to sew right past it. I'm really, like I said, I'm not in any hurry to um, care about any of this. So your hair going to make you look 10 years younger. So really? here... It's just hanging over, and I'm just going to come. You can see it did line itself up equally, and, and I'm just going to trim that right off. I, you know, And then I'll just start that next piece will go on the other side, the opposite side. So I just flip it with the back facing up like this, you know, and then I'm just going to cut it right there. Just going to cut it off because it's all hooked together, and it doesn't really um, matter. And you guys... Can't see right here. Hold well, on. once one person said something about your hair, they're all going. They really like it. Super. I know. I hair. got more comments about my hair than anything lately. All right, let's put you. Whoa! There we go. Right there. So see, I'm just lining this up and cutting it off. That's all I'm doing, because it doesn't have to be um, perfect. And then if this doesn't look straight right here, oops. And look at me not cutting properly because I'm left hand cutting right there. If this part right here doesn't come out straight and you want to add that next end, just straighten that one out like that. See? So now I can add that next piece. But this should be a nice corner right here. I mean, it's not perfect because that's not what's happening here. <laughs> This is, Becca says finished is better than perfect. Yeah, <laughs> in, in this world right here of kid quilts, it's never going to be perfect. So I'm just going to take this in and put it over here. Like, see how this corner? This corner ended with half the pieces anyway. Like, seriously? So I'm just going to put this on here and sew it on. Because I really can care less. Well, Teresa it's looks getting the it that done. Billy loves the pink fabric. It's getting done, and she's not going to care. So she's never cared about any of this kind of stuff. And the last quilt I made, Triana, was a baby quilt when she was little, little. So and now Triana's she'll have a... five, everyone, yeah. on Wednesday. We're going to have a little party here. Stay right there. So now I'm going to sew down this side, and then exactly. this will be done. Exactly, Billy, that's the truth. Billy says she'll love it because you made it just for her. Yep. Although Sasha will be playing with it just as much. And I made the camera crooked, and I'm sorry, guys. So you're just... Move. It's <laughs> movement. It's okay. We know what you mean. You know when I'm having a bad day, the, the more you know I'm having a bad day is when I can't talk. And I think several times already during this video, I cannot get my words out properly. That's how you know I'm but having June, a bad day. Karen goes to a special school. She's went to it for three years now. So yes, yeah, she did get to start her she did get to start regular school till next year. Yeah. And since all the schools here are pushed way back, and as I'm sure in every state, but her school did actually start already because hers is a special school. Although all the other schools aren't starting for. Yeah, she's who already knows when. in her school. Yes, her and her sister. Her sister's three and a half. They both go to a, a special type school. She made a quilt for son when he was 16 and he's 39 now and still loves it. She made a quilt for her son her when son? he was 16. Oh. He's 39 now and still loves it. Well, I mean, Maxine called me last night um, on Messenger. She's like, look, Hobo likes your, the quilts you made me, Mom. And I'm like, don't have him play on it because he's a puppy and puppies dig and chew and stuff. I was like, I have a lot of work into that quilt, Maxine. Please don't have him play on it. Let's give him his own little quilt. 
Mm. Because he's been peeing and stuff on Hubba everything. Hubba doesn't dig. Hubba doesn't dig or bite. He, um, he was biting he it pees. the whole time we were he talking. Pees. Anyways, I told her, don't let him pee on it because that's going to be hard to get out. That's one thing it's hard to get out of a toilet is puppy urine or any kind of dog or cat urine. So, yeah. I didn't think that she was still using it. I thought she had it in a box, but no, she's using the quilt. Her other one is this one. I keep forgetting to take it down off the wall so she can take it next time she's here. Yes, June, she loves going to school. And so does her sister. Let her up her sister first because her sister just started. All right, this one is not going to match up. Love it. This corner is definitely off. So, yeah. Probably straight lines. I'm not giving any fancy quilting. The last quilt I quilted for Triana was fancy quilting. So, all right, last one. Becca wants you to talk didn't. her out of going to sew because it's ten o'clock there and she has to work tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> no sewing, Becca. No sewing. Mm -hmm. Don't sew. <laughs> all right chopping the side off now and then I am gonna press it and you guys can see what it looks like and then I have a little bit left which could go on the back side as a strip ta-da all right so this is how much I have left right here that's it so this is enough to go across the back or something when I put it together because I definitely will have to piece the back. And I'm going to press it and then I'll turn the camera so you guys can see. Because I didn't turn the camera yet. It's definitely perfect size for her little bed. It's definitely messed up. Not perfect. And guess what? She will not care. They go to sort of like a beginner preschool, I guess you would call it, right, Tiffany? Yeah. For kids that are just a little behind. It's a preschool before the preschool. Yeah, it's like a an early preschool, special preschool thing. They work through talking with them and their alphabets and numbers and same stuff we do here. They just do more of it. I, I don't know exactly what all they do. It's more focused, I guess. They're around other kids that have harder learning issues. So they get to work together and they have fun. They love it. Is it a twin size Donna ass? No, this is just for a crib bed. Uh, what is it called? Kid bed? Uh, it's like a crib mattress, but it's a toddler bed. We can't uh, we can't put any more beds in this house for when she spends the night. We just have no more room. So she has her own little bed right here on the floor. And I'll show you in a second if Scott wants to take everything off of it so I can lay the little quilt on it. All right, I'm going to turn the camera this yeah, I way. Can, I can hold stuff. I will gladly. So here what is I'm here for. the quilt. I can't tell if we're in camera. Yes, not. yes, we're in. So there it the is. The quilt is. My arm is. You are not. That's because I'm behind it. I know. I'm teasing with you. I was trying to make a funny story. Yeah. So there it is. That's it. I think it looks good with the black highlighting it. And then it will go on. Let me move all this real quick. So you can <laughs> see. Yogi Castillo made a quilt for a grandson when the movie was coming out, How to Tame Your Dragon. It was the first quilt. And saw him selling it on, on, on a yard sale for a dollar and took it from him. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's kind of funny. It's sad, but it's kind of funny. All right, so this is how it will go. And I'll just hold the camera up in two seconds. This is like perfect size, look at that. If it was like regularly up off the ground. So it'll go like that on her little floor bed. Yes, June, that's probably what, it, I'm not sure the exact name of the school, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So that's her floor bed. Donna says, I love you so much. Wow, that's beautiful, awesome. You're getting cute, cute. Love it, Marlene loves it. So if the pillow was on top of her little floor Donna bed. Donna says to save the leftover see? strip for a throw pillow. Yeah. So if it was actually just sitting like that, like a regular bed, this is her little. It's like a, a toddler bed mattress. But it's just on the floor instead of lift up or it would be perfect size. So. 
if it was not on the floor like that, it'd be perfect. So cute. Anyway. Oh, so man. Cute. Stay, stay. I bought this holder. Sorry you guys are wiggling around. I bought this new holder, and it's just so wobbly. So very wobbly. Uh, we got it from Wish. Wish is an up and down. So, there it is. We'll back it with some kind of pink flannel, probably, because I have a lot of pink flannel or pink... Uh, um, I have Minnie Mouse over there. I have Princess something. I even have the Princess solid Sophia. pinks. I have plain solid pinks. Um, it's perfect size. Oh, you're size. talking about the flannels? Yeah. Oh, you got My Little Ponies. You got princesses, all princesses. You got Minnie Mouse. It's you got fish. You got puppy 51 dogs. Fifteen one and a half by. Hold on. Just because I know you guys are going to ask, and I'm going to want to know later for myself. 51 and a half by. Now they only go four days a week, and it's three hours a day. For Triana, it's proved very helpful. So far, Sasha just started. She did two weeks, but. And my measurements are not completely accurate, but I do my best. By 66, so 51 and a half by 66 ish. So that's perfect size for a uh, toddler bed size. That's toddler bed size. So I will have to piece something for the back just to. So Anne says the girls it. have such cute names. <laughs> yes, they do. When we first got Triana, when she first started coming to us, I could not remember her name for the life of me because it was so different. I kept saying like weird things like Tinana, Tino, Tro, Tro, Tree, Treezy. I was like, what the heck is her, you know? But she was only one day a week and then she was two days a week and then it just went to constant, you know? So like, yeah, first Sasha obviously was easy because we were around before she was even born. And, but yeah, I wasn't used to her name, but they are definitely unique names. I was the one that used to call Trion different names, too. <laughs> well, I, it was both of us. Yeah. All right, I am covered in thread. Anyways, any questions, anybody? Questions? Do I need to review? Oh, give me a second, dude. They have tons of comments. So all these strips were two and a half inch strips turned into... <laughs> I don't know whether I started with four patches or if I just kept continuously stripping because they were already cut aside and I don't remember even putting these together, but I know I did. I just don't remember when. I agree with you, and Suzanne. Some people are not quilt worthy. <laughs> I just, two and a half inch and then in rows of two, so they were just stripped into rows of two and then sashed pretty much with a one and a half inch black strip, a two inch of the col the pink color, and then another one and a half inch black on each side of those. And I just kept putting them alternating. And then the top and the bottom are obviously ends of this, and then the sides ends with this. So it made it the perfect size. And then I have this. So I could put all this, let's see how much. If the third was about 18 inches, right? 16. We'll do 16 inch pillow. So we'll say right here. I'm just going to lay this right here. If I was to sew all these together, like this, like that. <laughs> Yogi says now the grandson is planning on getting married and he asked for a quilt and he replied, no, no, no. <laughs> and then four. Put it in the fridge for you. That you and one more. I do, oh yeah, I can make a little throw pillow without adding oh, anything else to it, just no these. Not. You are definitely talented, Donna says. Mm, this is just me oh, screwing yeah. around. There's no talent involved. <laughs> this is just a sewing machine and finishing. I have a bunch of stuff I started. Like, I just need to get done. So little by little, I'll get some of the stuff I started. But I can do table runners and little wallets, so. We came to the conclusion that table runner is next Sunday. Um, I still got to finish quilting, but I don't need to see me quilt. Jane has a request huh? before you get off. She wants you to tell everyone about the finger pressing stick you got from T. 
this stick is a wood stick carved on a, sh a lathe. Is it called a lathe, the thing that spins? And yes. Carved, yes, yes, on a lathe. Um, I forgot the guy's name that does it. Sure she said it a bazillion times. <laughs> and then when your seams need to be pressed, instead of constantly breaking your fingernails, as you can see, I'm not flipping you guys off, I'm just showing you, my fingernail broke from finger pressing. It caught and my nails bend so easy. For a lot of you who have like, see that, weakened systems and your nails bend, mine just bend and they just get a slight snag and it rips and it'll rip to where it bleeds and it pulls so oh it hurts so bad when it happens you talk about your thing i gotta stop doing that t sent me this and oh my god this even though if i keep it right here i'll remember if you put it on the top side of your fabric and you press your seam and you just go across it without pulling you hold both sides of your fabric and then just do like you would do with your finger but with this and then down this and spread the seams instead of using your finger and destroying your finger you just go down like that the whole way it and is this, purple it's purple and black and it also helps if you're on the ironing board and you heat say you're pressing this seam back with your heat and you want to open it the rest of the way before because you want to press your seam open or something this helps press the seam open yeah, up close and personal T has these on her site, right, Tiffy? Uh, no, she has to make a new order. She's doing it oh. in October. October. I don't know exactly the day because I remember. So, yeah, and there's tons of different colors. It doesn't have to be purple. She, they have. Oh my, there's like fresh cherry woods and and uh, reds, and then there was what another one that has swirls with gr other rainbows, and then yeah, the amber wood and tiger wood and da 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 da. There's just some. All different colors, so yeah, and then the matchings are the you can either get a matching set or one or the other, but a lot of people just got both. Um, they're handmade, in yes, they're handmade in America, in America, yes. Um, I mean, Chinese junk, and then this is a, a stiletto and um, seam ripper combo. My seam ripper, seam ripper side of my combo though is uh broke, which I have to figure out why. So we have to, I have to talk to T, but one side goes in and stays. I can't leave this thing open at all times, though, because, yeah, I don't want to get hurt. So we don't know what's going on here. And I'm going to talk to T before I do any modifications myself. But this side is perfectly fine. But I'm definitely not going to leave this as loose. So. See, exactly, Sue Ann. American made. So, yeah, that's that. My little match. Can you fiddle with it? No, don't fiddle with it. I'm just going to talk to T first, see if anybody else. I asked anybody here, but nobody's had the problem yet. I put marker on it thinking that it would hold it in, you know, but it doesn't. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll talk to T. You can put a piece of electrical tape around the work. Just I know. Fine. I just want to ask her first, maybe okay. if it was something inside this, if she could ask the guy that makes them. Okay. If it's something inside the shaft, maybe, like one of these little, there's, if you look in the shaft, there's little holder things that okay. kind of bubble out. Well, Scotty has written that They all tower. look the same though they are all sticking I get out redneck well. ingenuity i can easily fix it for you my way i know it won't be i know it won't be anyway. perfect but it will work Both <laughs> done for now i'm not gonna do anything with this for now i'm just gonna fold it out of the way it's made by a crafter in missouri yep, yep. As kim says you guys know that i mostly know most of the details i just don't think to say most of the details <laughs> All right. Donna so. says, thanks so much. She learned a lot tonight. I'm hoping that this helped beginners. If you guys just want something simple and easy together, this was, like I said, this is, goes together quick. I started it, what, earlier today? I did, what, four strips today? I mean, the outer parts were already done, but I just started sewing these together today. I cut them. He came, Scott came in here and says, I don't see how you can do this. Just stand there, and that's all you're doing is just cutting these. I would go insane, yes. And I don't understand how you do it. And over. He doesn't understand our quilting stuff, guys. He doesn't see how I can cut the strips. So he came in. That was, what, noonish. Yes. And then I was only in here for, like, 30 minutes. Got them all cut, started sewing together, and finished with you guys. So 
I didn't really spend much time on it. So for a beginner, if you guys need something and you're just sewing together a big long strip of two and a half inch squares over and over, yeah. this is like the perfect project. Suzanne says trade sides. Did you ever put one on your other side? Yeah, it doesn't. It's oh. not. The, it's the same. I did it earlier. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, it doesn't. I can fix. I can fix. It. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well I can do it. I don't know. I just, I just leave anything. it right here. It's fine. Just leave it right here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, does anybody else have any questions? Questions for me? Oh, I'm going to go lay down and watch Supernatural and drool over Sam and Dean in hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Hmm. That's okay. I like Supernatural too, so... I, I, I meant I meant the feeling of feeling like my I'm in hell mm -hmm. right now. My, I know what you the meant. Feeling in I my know head. what you meant. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah. He just doesn't understand. I know what you meant. <laughs> the quilt would look great in purple. You're saying? Oh yeah. yeah, purples with like a like a pastel blue accent color, or purple and black. Because purple and black go great together too. Um, any colors, any colors. I mean, even with a bunch of bright and colorful batiks. Oh, that would be so pretty. See, now I got these things going through my head. Oh, just stop. Just stop. No more quilt tops. No more quilt tops. Okay, you need to eat supper. All right. I need to eat and do stuff, so anybody else have anything? No? 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 They're all saying good night. Okay. Get rest. Well, I thank we'll you guys all evening. for joining, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It's that way. And then next to that is a bell. You ring that to get notifications when I'm on. You can choose your notifications. Um, email hasn't been working for some people lately, but I guess you just have to work that out with YouTube or know that I come on every, every, every single Sunday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard, Mountain Standard Time. Wow, I almost couldn't say that right. Except we don't change time, so just remember that. Um, and don't forget to like the video. That's below. Thumbs up right there. And then, uh, other than that, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Because right now I'm not on a schedule. My life is just too chaotic for schedules. So, <laughs> bye everybody. Love you all. I hit the X, right? Yes. Okay. Let me show you my stop. Okay.